So in today's episode of Beta Bully, I'll be covering two things, a possible beta storyline change in chapter 5, and 6 and 7, and also the beta of making a mark. With that out of the way, let's get on to what I believe could be a very early leftover of the making a mark cutscene. That was a horrible sentence to say and I'm sorry for that. <laughs> that is funny, Jimmy. No, it's not. Jimmy, it's really funny. Chill out, man. Jimmy, I need to talk to you about something. Not now, Pete. I'm basking in adulation. I mean, running the school fairly. Dude, so fairly. No, Jimmy, please. Pete, enough. Yeah, shut up, Pete. The court hey, must on. know they're king. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Jimmy? Forget the school. The whole town should know about you. You're like... The mayor. You should leave your mark on City Hall. Yeah, <laughs> dude. Take a dump on the doorstep. <laughs> no, you homunculus. Not a dump. It's something much more elegant. Paint a warning. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'll show everyone who's boss. That's right, Jimmy. All right, you girls wait here. This is going to be something they'll never forget. Wait, Jimmy, don't forget about Gary. Wait, wait for me. I'm fairly certain there's a very early version of this scene in the game's files, complete with beta animations, not audio sadly. The reason I believe this is because in the game's files, well in the cuts image where all the cutscene files are kept, there's usually an INF file which contains all the character models used for the cutscene, an AGR file which is animations, and a .dat file which is often used for, well, camera angles and shit like that. Now the reason I believe this is because, well, in the game's files, Making a mark is referred to as 5-09, which means, you know, chapter 5, mission 9, even though in the final game, it's basically the first mission. I'll cover that more in a minute. The beta version of this, however, is called CS Counter. Now, I know some of you might be thinking, what does that mean exactly? That could just be any mission set in the boy's dorm, that doesn't mean anything. But the issue with this, however, is, well, if you open up the INF file, it actually tells you all the character models used in that cutscene. And when I was going through the files, I found out that 5-09 and CS Counter had the exact same models, which could mean that in the beta, making a mark was known as, well, Counter. I don't know what it means by that exactly, because the only other two missions that have beta files left over are The Candidate, which is referred to as Candidate, not 1-09, and Weed Killer, and I can't remember the mission number it's used, but you get my point on that. Now sadly, when I tried to replace 5-09.agr with, well, cscounter.agr, the game crashed. And according to people like Simon Bestia, who got the candidate beta cutscene working, the game did crash as well, when he tried to replace the animations. So sadly, it seems like we may not actually figure out what animations are going to be in this cutscene. But let's just take a minute to think about this. Making a Mark is the ninth mission in Chapter 5, not the first. According to the game files, Rats in the Library is supposed to be the first mission of Chapter 5, not Making a Mark. So by the time Making a Mark happens, all the clicks would have loved Jimmy. But by Rats in the Library, all the clicks hate Jimmy. I'm not sure I'm wording that correctly, but you get my point on that. So could this mean in the beta, Making a Mark had a completely different role in the story? I'm going to say yes, I believe making a mark would have had a completely different impact on the storyline. I believe this for the following reasons. You see, in the game's files, busting in is referred to as 5-07, while the next mission would have been making a mark, which is 5-09. The mission in between these two, which should be 5-08, does not exist at all in the final game. I haven't been able to find any files for it, sadly. I have no idea what it would have been about or what would have happened in it, although I will guess it had something to do with the townies. Secondly, I just have a feeling that the beta making a mark cutscene would have had the various click leaders being pissed off at Jimmy. After all, I think I've mentioned it before in this video, but at this point in the story, Jimmy would have been hated by everyone, and to see him being loved by everybody would just seem very out of place. But remember, it is entirely possible Rockstar changed this up in development, and if they did, we may sadly never know what the original idea was like. However, we do have load of audio files from the beta making a mark. Okay, that was a horrible sentence and I apologise for that. Which I'll play now. What are we doing, Jimmy? I'm going to get a bunch of paint. Maybe that crazy kid on the edge of town can help you. Clint? Yeah, maybe. I'll check it out. 
You stay here. Dude, what do you want? I need a large amount of paint. Can you hook me up? Yeah, but it'll cost you. Hey, what's that kid doing with my bike? Looks like he's stealing it. Crap! Get it back and we'll talk. Get off my bike and we'll talk. That's right. Off the bike. Don't ever touch my ride again. All right. Chill, man. Chill. Sure. Paint. It's in the paint depot near the tracks. The yard is pretty secure. You might have to climb in from the next building over or something. Thanks. Sure. Don't let the locals see you. They're crazy. And they hate schoolboys. Not like me. Hey. You picked the wrong area to be in, dude. Looks like we gets to have a little fun. You guys seem like fun. Too much work. Let's go home. Well, it looks like you've gotten the paint. What are you doing here? Irrelevant. Looks like the local law enforcement know you're coming. Huh? How could they? Perhaps a miscalculation in dealing with the dropout. Son of a... Now you can really show everyone you mean business when you get up there and make your mark. And I'll get the pictures to prove it, too. You're so cool. Now honestly, not gonna lie, this beta analysis for me is my most confusing one yet. I've got a load of mixed signals from all the files I've found. As I mentioned, the text files say to me, maybe Jimmy spreads the town hall out of spite, you know, for being hated by everybody, while the audio files say, maybe Jimmy is forgiven by a few people for helping them out. After all, Jimmy's on good terms with Clint and Ernest in this mission. Despite the fact that, even if this was the first mission, Jimmy's tiny respect would be 0%. And even if this was the ninth mission in Chapter 5, Jimmy's nerd respect would also be below 50%, so there's no reason for him to be on good terms of Ernest. To clarify what I mean by this, after Showdown at the Plant, Jimmy's respect with the townies would be 100%, but not anybody else. But yet for some reason, the townies in this mission still want to attack Jimmy. Now to me, this is a bit kind of odd because I can't think of any other mission that isn't a side mission where having 100% respect with a click means they attack you on site. I say that because like, you know, if say like you do character sheets in chapter 6, the bullies will hate Jimmy even though they've got 100% respect with him. So I just think it's kind of odd, if you know what I mean by that, that for some reason that Jimmy seems to be on good terms with Ernest, even though he has like, what, 25% respect, 50, something like that? And yet he seems to be on bad terms with the townies, who he should be on 100% respect with and they should be, well, listening to him. So, yeah, sorry for the confusion a bit here, it's confusing me a little bit as well. I can't think of any reason why the nerds would like Jimmy and the townies would still hate Jimmy. Anyway, back to it. Or maybe, Rockstar changed this mission multiple times, which I'm leaning more towards, given how many last minute changes Buddy had anyway. So we can already tell from the audio files that the entire mission was completely different. As opposed to the three tasks from the final game, it appears this mission would have been longer and more action packed. I'm still wondering what role Ernest had in this mission, as he seemingly just appears out of nowhere. So going off the audio files, our objectives for this mission would have been go and find Clint, get Clint's bike back from the thief, it's unknown who that would be, possibly a greaser, you know given the rivalry and how close New Coventry and Blue Skies are, collect the paint from the depot near the tracks, I presume that's his new commentary. Possibly avoid townies, although it doesn't sound like you'd fail the mission for getting spotted by them. Something involving Jerry and Duncan, I believe. I don't know what would have happened at this point. Possibly fighting, going off Ernest's quote about how he dealt with them. Escape the ball with police. Spray City Hall and take the photo. The beta audio also helps expand Jimmy's relationship with Clint, like how they met, as opposed to the weird scholarship edition missions where they seemingly know each other without ever actually meeting each other in the story. Well, to be honest, I'm really confused about this beta analysis. I know I said it about 30 seconds ago, but it really has confused me quite a lot, you know, with all the mixed signals I've got. Well, that's it for today's video, and I apologise for how confusing this beta episode was. It was just as confusing for me making it and writing up the script. <laughs> so yeah, I apologise for that and I hope you enjoyed today's video and thank you for watching. If you want more beta buddy content then please check out the playlist. And that's it, thank you for watching and have a nice day.